Hi, my name is Umer Gilani and I'm a program manager on the remote desktop services team at Microsoft. In this short video, we're going to take a look at the different ways in which end users of remote app programs and desktops can discover and access their resources. Once the administrator sets up an RDS deployment, end users of the service can access their applications and desktops in one of three different ways. First, the admin can push these remote app programs and desktops directly to the user's fully managed or domain joint devices. For personal devices, users can discover their remote resources in one of two ways. They could either use their web browsers to navigate to their RD web portal, or they can use a remote app and desktop connections feature. Let's take a look at each of these in detail. For the first part of the demo, I'm going to navigate to a fully managed device. This is a domain join machine that I have, and my IT administrator is pushing all of my remote resources directly to this device. So in order to discover here, all I need to do is navigate to the All Apps list, and I'll see a category for remote resources, and all of my remote app programs appear here as they were locally installed on this device. I can decide to pin one or more of these to my Start menu, and then just click on the application I want and launch it directly. The administrator would enable something like this using Group Policy. Also note, that I wasn't prompted for credentials here because my IT administrator was pushing my uh, pushing a group policy to delegate my logged on credentials. So this was how I would access resources from my managed device. What if I wanted to discover my remote resources from my personal device? Here the user has two options. First, you can either navigate to your web browser and enter the URL for your RDS deployment, enter your credentials and sign in. I see all of my remote app programs available here and I can decide to launch the app that I want. And again, using single sign-on, I'll be able to get to my remote app very quickly. If I don't want to use the web portal, I can simply navigate to the Windows Store remote desktop application, select Settings, and click Manage Remote App and Desktops. This will show me a list of all remote app and desktop connections on this device. Currently I have none, so I'm going to select a new connection. Here I could either enter the URL of my RDS deployment, or I can simply enter my email address. And have the remote desktop app discover my RDS URL directly. If I hit yes here, it will prompt me for my credentials. I'll decide to save these credentials and hit OK. It went out and discovered all of my remote resources and added them to the remote desktop application right here. I simply click the application I want and using single sign-on I'll be able to get to my remote app resource. So just to quickly summarize, there are three different ways uh, the end user can discover their, their uh, remote resources. First, the IT administrator can directly push uh, these remote resources to a fully managed and domain joined device. Secondly, I could use the web, uh, a web browser to navigate to the RD web portal. And then lastly, I used the remote app and desktop connections feature to discover my applications using the email address. I hope you guys found this video useful. Thank you.